So which one lays bigger eggs? The Jumbo Pharaohs or the Jumbo Meat Makers? That's what we're gonna find out in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you wanna do it. Today we're gonna to do some uh, comparisons on the eggs between the uh, Jumbo Pharaohs here and the Jumbo Meat Makers I've got in that pin right over there. If you've been following the channel, you know last week we did some comparisons on the weight of the birds. They're pretty similar. Uh, not really much of a difference there at all. I'd call them pretty much the same size, honestly. So now we're gonna do some comparisons, see if their eggs are any bigger. Now, really what happens with the Jumbo Pharaohs, and again, these birds look exactly the same. The Jumbo Pharaohs are supposed to lay slightly bigger eggs. The Jumbo Meat Makers are supposed to get slightly bigger. I don't know that, the, you know, again, there's any difference in size. They're both fast growing birds. They're both jumbo birds. They, they both got great size to them, but I can't tell a big difference between, between them in size. They're starting to lay, so uh, we, we should get five or six eggs out of uh, this hutch, maybe five or six out of that hutch, four or five, I don't know. We'll see how many eggs we get. Got my trusty little kitchen scale here and a couple of little containers so I can keep the eggs separate and weigh them. So. Uh, well, let's just start off. Let me set this down where I can uh, actually set it down somewhere where I can see it. We'll use this tub here. And I'll zero it out with my container on there. There it is at zero. So let's open this cage up, see how many eggs we got today. All right. Hey guys, one, oh, get back. Two, three, four, no, 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 jump out. Oh, there's another one back there. Five eggs. Five eggs from the uh, Jumbo Pharaohs. So, uh, got a decent little amount of eggs. I will say one thing. That these guys seem to start laying a little bit earlier than those guys. Uh, it was about a week earlier. I started getting eggs out of this hutch, um, and they still weren't laying yet. Now, they've all started laying at this point here, so not a huge amount of eggs out of them, but... Still, they've all started laying. All right, so we're looking at, we should probably, uh, well, I'll have to do the math to figure out how many grams that is, but it's two ounces, and I've got one, two, three, four, five eggs in there. So let me pull up my trusty calculator here. We'll see uh, what that comes out to. Guess I could have done that math in my head now that I think about it. So 0.4 ounces, 0.4 ounces per egg. Um, that's the average weight of the uh, jumbo so let me go grab the eggs out of the uh, meat maker hutch and uh, look at that still zeroed out and we'll get those weighed real quick all right so only three eggs out of the uh, meat makers today they've been laying between three to five eggs a day max get back you don't need these buddy go on and we're looking at 1.2 ounces for three eggs i think that's actually going to be bigger let me let's check that real quick so 1.2 divided by three eggs exactly the same size 0.4 ounces so so far um you know an average weight uh, of the egg 0.4 ounces they're probably going to get slightly bigger eggs as they start laying a little bit more but it looks like really so far i'm not telling much of a difference at all between the pharaohs and the meat makers they're both fantastic birds it, you know they both lay pretty good size eggs these are much bigger than just standard eggs would be they're both great big birds they're much bigger than the uh than the standard quail. I'll bring you in close. We'll show you a shot of uh, each one and see how they're doing. And, uh, you know, not much of a difference really. I don't know if I could recommend one over the other. So I would say either way you go, if you want to, if you're looking for a good jumbo bird, these uh, jumbo pharaohs and the meat makers are both the wild color, the, the standard brown color. They're jumbo birds, but standard brown color. And uh, they do tend to be a little bit more docile than some of the other jumbo birds, like the A&Ms and some of those. So you're not gonna run into as many problems with them fighting with each other as you do with some of those other birds. So let's bring you in close. Let's show you what they look like. These guys are right at eight weeks old right now. Um, eight, nine weeks old, somewhere right around in there. All right, so these are the jumbo pharaohs. And we can tell there's been some breeding behavior going on. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I can see some feathers being missing from some of the uh, hen's uh, heads. We got an aggressive rooster right here pecking at me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not, but yeah, they, uh, yeah they're, they're all pecking at me now. Get back, guys. I gotta make sure they don't go flying out because uh, 
My dog will get a hold of them. So anyway, those are the jumbo pharaohs. Good, nice sized birds. I mean, we got a couple of runs, but for the most part, most part, they're all good, big, healthy bird. All right, here's the meat makers. A few of them anyway. Most of them are in the sandbox and leaving. We have to spook them back out here in a second. But they're they're a little calmer. They're not nearly as uh, jumpy. They're not they're not pecking at me or anything like that. Uh, maybe a little bit more afraid of me. But again, about the same size. Nice, healthy birds. Let me open up the other side here. We'll see if we can get them to come back out. Take a look at them. Well, actually, why don't we just move the camera over to the other side? Okay, so you should be able to see them now. Keep them back in here. Again, not, not much of a difference, really. They look exactly the same. Uh, a few runts in here, but most of them are nice, big, healthy birds. But again, not they don't seem to be nearly as aggressive with me anyway. Um, you know, there, there's not been too many problems with them with fighting each other or any of those kinds of things. Uh, so they're not really aggressive with each other. I do have one bird back there. It looks like it's got some blood on her beak, so I don't know what she, uh, I don't see any injured birds right offhand. She may have uh, actually picked on one of the other birds and drawn some blood, but they all look fine. So I'm not sure where that blood came from. I'll keep an eye on her for a couple of days, and she may have just, you know, who knows? Who knows exactly? It may have been nothing at all. We'll keep an eye on her and make sure she's doing okay, make sure I don't notice any other birds in here that are beat up or anything. Well, big surprise there. Not a big difference in the eggs. Not a big difference in the size of the birds. They're both uh, big, healthy birds. They both grow incredibly fast, start laying early, lay bigger eggs. I honestly can't tell the difference between the two of them. I don't know that there is a big difference between the two of them. They are different breeds, meat makers versus jumbo pharaohs, but you know you can interbreed them. They look exactly the same, about the same weight, about the same size, about the, I mean, everything's about the same. You can't go wrong with either one of them though. They are probably my favorite, either one, meat makers or pharaohs. You're, you're gonna have uh, good birds if you pick up one of those. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, God bless.